and Robin with the Riverstone Life and we're in Kauai, Hawaii on our honeymoon. Yes we are and it's raining bad. <laughs> we're actually in a flood warning. Flood warning. Not yep. a watch. Not a watch. But a warning. But a warning. This rain's trying to put me to sleep. I can just sleep out here <laughs> listening to the rain. <laughs> well we had time to do this video because we really can't uh, uh, go anywhere. Go anywhere. We're supposed to go on a, a helicopter flight today. We're on the yeah. island mm -hmm. but that ain't happening. It's kind of been our, our whole year has been weather. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy, but what this video is anyway. about, we're going to do a follow-up on the Nomad, because the last time we did the, the the original Nomad video was when we were in Alaska. And now we're in Hawaii. And now we're in Hawaii, and I just want to talk about this, because people always ask, you know, when you go down the road a little bit longer using something, mm -hmm. are you still happy with it, right? Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the, well, first of all, let's check the speed out. Right? Sure. Let's check the speed out. Do it. Well, let's hit the button. And I'm kind of curious what it's going to show because it was way close to 100 megabytes when the weather was really nice. Yeah. And it's been crappy for the last day and a half now, so I'm sure it'll drop it down. But we've still been streaming everything on the iPad and our phones and everything. I mean, our laptop. phones, yeah, laptop, uh, uploaded videos, and 79.3 Not bad. downloads. <laughs> and now we'll do the upload. Uploads would always concern us because we're always uploading videos and stuff. And a lot of times with all these other internets that are our phones and everything, they only upload it like two, three, really, really slow. Um, and the Nomad's always like seven or eight or higher. So I can always upload a lot faster that way. 17.4. Can't complain. Can't complain. I mean, you know, this is, it's been perfect for us, wouldn't you and say? we're in rainy, there's a mountain up there, you can't see it. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a mountain behind those clouds right there. <laughs> Uh, and when I brought it with us, I didn't expect it to work here. Yeah. But it, it, people, if you travel and you're staying at Airbnbs or you're staying at these hotels and these resorts and all, all the Nine other, times out of ten, the internet is horrible. They, they brag about, oh, free internet. Free internet doesn't work at all. <laughs> and then the one they charge you for barely trickles. And me and Robin, we stream everything. Yes. Even if we're not uploading, we're watching movies off our Apple box. It's like we do on our, mm -hmm. on our fifth wheel. That's what we do. We stream everything. We don't... We don't have direct TV, we don't do any of that stuff. No. Everything is done through this. So, this is why I bring it with us, because we don't have any problems. And the other thing, thing people don't realize is, if, if you, we're on Verizon, we have a Verizon line we on do. all of our phones, on all of our phones, and we'll have lots of areas where our phone won't even work on the Verizon here. But it works on that. But it works on <laughs> this, it's the craziest thing ever. Now I know that Nomad is always talking about in their earlier videos about C-band. And I thought it was just another word for byline shit, basically, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not. It's, it, it, it's something different because it makes all the world difference. Now, we're going to talk about this particular unit because this is the one that we've had. We had it before Nomad sent us this yeah. one. When we purchased, it took two weeks, longer than it was supposed to, but we got it. It worked perfect. We are on our way to Alaska, and then they asked us to do a video. And I thought, you know what? We're going to do a video. Now, I know the company struggled with some earlier issues, um, but I think they've got that taken care of. But I'm not selling you the company. I'm selling you the internet and mm -hmm. our experience, what we discovered. Can't we can't complain. And, and me and Robin use, like I said, I don't. Even, they don't tell us how much we use. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> a lot. A lot. But just for example, if you've got Verizon and you've got one of their hot hot hot, hot boxes or what do you want to call the stream internet, I got. We've got one of them stuff somewhere. Now the best we could get was 150. Yeah, 150 megabytes. That didn't last long. It lasts us like two days. Now, if you're grandfathered in, you, you probably have an unlimited plan. And you're you're the smartest person out there to stay with that. But we weren't that way, and it just didn't work for us. We we it, they wouldn't even let me pay more to keep it going. We were yeah, just, that was yeah, it was ridiculous. So this is truly unlimited, and it never slows down. So these people that tell you that that it's unlimited, and you read the fine print, well, I'm telling you, it's never slowed down for us ever. Now, if it's slower in an area, it's because that area is not as strong uh, at Verizon service, right? Mm -hmm. But 95% of the places that we've been... No complaints. No complaints. Works perfect. We but use it at my mom's, and just, she has internet Wi-Fi. She has great <laughs> internet in her living room. But the bedrooms are in the back, back part of the house, and she can't even watch her own shows back there. Mm -hmm. But we plug this in, and we watch it on the TV back there, and she'll come in there knocking the door. How are you watching that? And I'm like, right here. Nomad box. Nomad box that you can take everywhere. Now, if you're a backpacker and you want to have some kind of internet, this is the way to go. Agreed. Yes, definitely. I mean, if you're hiking around there, I mean, don't get me wrong, you're going to get some areas that just don't have any service, and that's when you need something like Starlink. Mm -hmm. Now, we have Starlink. Yes, now, we do. But the problem with Starlink is 
Sometimes I'll get to an area and plug it in because I know this isn't going to work because nothing works in that area. But I'll spend an hour messing with that thing to get it to work. <laughs> because as soon as I finally get it to work, it tells me there's an update, so I do the update. <laughs> and then Robin's like, are we ever going to watch this or are we going to be leaving before we watch this? And I'm thinking, you know, you don't have that problem with this thing. What, take two to three minutes? If that. Usually when we get to a place, I go plug this in first. Yeah, routine. <laughs> yeah, I have a routine where I go plug this thing in, and then we'll get the rest of the stuff brought in from the vehicles and stuff like that, and our internet's always working, and it's hooked to all of our stuff. Yeah. The okay. iPads, the phones, your computer. A lot. It makes, it, it makes life simple. What do you say? I love it. Yeah, I love it. So, and this year alone, me and Robin have taken, well, they take the fifth wheel to 26 states, I think. We went 32 total. 32. 32 total. You counted? I counted and I wrote them down. I don't get wrong, folks. They're not in order, alphabetical order, because this is me and not Robin did this. <laughs> but we'll let her. Oh, you're going to have yeah, me. Yeah. All right, let's see. These are all the states that we used this box in all year long and streamed all of our movies and everything we do and uploaded our videos to YouTube. Ready? I'm ready. It's going to take a while. I know. <laughs> South Dakota, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, Missouri, Ohio, Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, Kentucky, Indiana, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Alaska, and Kauai, Hawaii. And we are oh full-time <laughs> RV livers, living in an RV full-time, yes, right? Yes, we do. We travel as much as possible. I mean, that's what this channel is about. It's about us living in that RV, mm -hmm. and it's about us traveling wherever we can go. And this goes with us. It goes everywhere. Now, I know it's not going to work. Don't get me wrong, folks. It's not going to work in other countries and stuff like that. But there is an advantage that you might not know. This has two SIM cards in it, and this unit is unlocked. And the reason I know that is I've stuck my T-Mobile in here, and I've ran this off T-Mobile. So when we travel across the country or overseas, where we go, I'm going to take it with me because I know it won't work where they don't have Verizon towers because I've tried it. We drove through Canada. It didn't work in Canada, and the reason it didn't is they didn't have any Verizon towers. But a lot of these places that you go to, you can buy a SIM card from them. And just imagine if you could stick it in this thing that's running off the C-band and have some of the best internet you've ever had. So that's another advantage. I mean, this thing was not locked to Nomad where, you know, probably because you paid for it all up front. And they might change those plans where you're renting this equipment or something. Just remember, that might not work on those plans, but we paid for it. I think that's the way to go. So. But, what do you think, Rob? I'm a fan. I'm always asking, you have a Nomad? I have a Nomad. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> And just, just for, you know, I know there's people out there, there's haters out there with this. There are people hey, that, this is our opinion. Everybody's it, entitled yeah, it, to their opinion. They had a bad situation with it. Uh, the company went through some changes. Um, a lot of people were on this bandwagon, and they bashed the company when things didn't go their way. You know what? I'm happy for what I have every month. And if it's not there, then I'll move on to something else. But as of right now, Nomad's the best thing out there, in my opinion, because this thing is truly unlimited, and we stream thousands and thousands of data every month mm -hmm. in 32 states we've been. Now, we'll, put, we'll try all the other ones, probably get it next year before we get the rest of those down, but we'll try, you know, our goal is to get all 50 states tested on this thing. Mm -hmm. But I think in nine months, we did pretty good with 32. <laughs> yeah, I'm exhausted. <laughs> But, you know, I was hoping you'd have a better view than that, but, it, you know, it is we what it is. We are on the wettest island, so. And me and Robin <laughs> have discovered that we bring bad weather everywhere we go this year. I know. We've had tornadoes we've lived through. We've had hailstorms we've lived mm. through. We had some of the worst weather. We've had blizzards. We've had some And we're of going back to Colorado where there might be some when we started this we, <laughs> When we started this thing, didn't we have, like, 35 below zero weather in Oklahoma? Mm -hmm. That's been our year, and then we get here. Maybe it's a sign. It's a sign, and now they say, now they're talking about us flooding away, and we're staying pretty close to the airport. So if this place floods out, we ain't flying home. <laughs> Just remember, if you like the videos, give us a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing on the channel, subscribe. And thank you for watching. Always. Thanks for watching.